Hey, I'm Eddie Z, AKA the Yum Yum Foodie, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make an authentic Cuban latte, or as we Cubans call it, a cafe con leche. Now, being the son of Cuban immigrants, I've been smelling espresso since I was in the womb, and some of the smells at this place we're at right now is conjuring up memories from my childhood. But like anything, you need authenticity, and that's why we're here at the Gavinia coffee plant in Los Angeles, California, where they make Café La Llave. Now let's check out the plant and see how that Café La Llave goes from here to your table. With all the advances of modern technology, coffee has for the most part remained the same. Now, for centuries, people have been drinking this beverage and enjoying it in many ways. And no matter what part of the world you come from, chances are that you have a tradition regarding coffee. Here I am surrounded by beans from all around the world. I am in the warehouse of the roasting plant. And now I'm going to show you how these beans go through the roasters from here to your coffee at home. On these loading docks, you will find some of the highest quality coffees in the world. From here, they will be sorted and sent to one of several containers where they are roasted until they meet the standards that a coffee must have in order to bear the Gavinia name. Amongst these gems, you will find the beans that have the honor of making it into Café La Llave. But before it gets packaged, it must meet the tasting standards of some of the best coffee palates in the business, making sure that you receive the highest possible quality and it's consistent every time you taste it. Now, once all these standards are met, Café La Llave is ground, and packed into several different containers before it is shipped to supermarkets around the world. Here we are in the factory. At the end of the day, at the end of the roasting, all of this lovely coffee is behind me. If you could only smell this right now, but what we are gonna do right now is we're gonna go back to my place and I'm gonna show you how to make a cafe con leche or Cuban latte, just like my grandmother or abuelita would make it when I was a kid. Let's go. Okay, so we just got back from the plant. Let's show you how to make a Cuban cafe con leche. So what do we need? Coffee, sugar, a pinch of salt, and a can of evaporated milk, folks. That's right, not sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, that funky milk can. You're like, what the heck is that when you go to the refrigerator? That is what we're gonna make Cuban cafe con leche with. That is the real deal. So let's start with making cafe. Get our can. The way my machine is designed, it's one scoop for that one shot of espresso right up in there. Perfect. Get your cup. This cup you may want to warm in the microwave, just wet on the outside a little bit. Keep that cup nice and warm. It's something that it helps keep the coffee warm too if your mug is warm ahead of time. When you go out and you have coffee at a certain place, you'll notice that the cups are on top of the machine. Reason being is all of that hot steam coming out of the machine is warming those cups for you. So you're making it a little bit easier. Just wet the, wet the cup, put it in the microwave. And there it is, our beautiful espresso shot. We don't wanna let it go to waste. Every little drop counts. Perfect, look at that. That white stuff on the top is called crema. That's where all the flavor is in my opinion of the espresso. That's when you put your lips to it, you get the taste, the crema, that smell, bringing it all right home for you. Now, next, we're gonna have some milk for this. Can and our evaporated milk. We really don't use an exact measurement. We're Cuban, it happens. We measure based on how many fingers are on the side of the jug. So here, I'm using the two finger measurement system because I'm making coffee just for myself. You can use four fingers if you're gonna make coffee for you and your loved one, but I'm starting with two. I like mine on the sweeter end. I put my sugar in before I steam the coffee. Why? Because that steam is actually gonna melt the sugar inside and distribute it evenly. So what happens? At the end of your cup, you don't have that pile of gritty sugar at the bottom making it too sweet to even taste. You have a distributed, nice, even taste of sweetness. And don't forget the salt. Just a tiny pinch of salt. And why would I put salt in a sweet coffee? Well, salt is actually gonna bring out the sweetness and enhance the flavor for you. And now let's steam our milk. Now I don't have a thermometer in here. I know you don't really need a thermometer for this per se. Just keep your hand on the side of the cup. Basically, if your hand starts to get too burned, it's ready to go. You see, then I'm gonna get my spoon and start to swirl around whatever sugar is in there. Get it close to that steam wand. Melt it right in. And don't worry, you don't need this fancy schmancy machine to do it at home. Okay, you can put the steam, there you go. Almost burnt myself, that was good. So now our milk is ready. We have our coffee. First thing, let's 
pour a little bit of milk. Let's get slow in there. Look at that. Just like my grandmother would make it. There she is. This will change your life. Now I'm gonna go drink it before it gets cold, so let's do that. So there she is. The perfect Cuban cafe con leche with evaporated milk, a pinch of salt, and yes, the sugar that has just been melted. I think I'm gonna take a sip now, and I'm gonna enjoy it, but don't worry, you can go to the website. We got it all, the website, the blog, Instagram. You wanna see pictures of this, you wanna find out how to make it at home, want the list of ingredients, it's all there. Get out of my house, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Thank you.